What's up? Welcome to my channel. Today is a very interesting day because I am going to share my empties with all of you. And as you can see, my trash is already pretty full. So you and I are going to have a really good chat. Without any delays, let's jump right into this video. Do not worry, I am not going to make you wait. If you are a subscriber here, then you're probably already predicting what my first empty product is. And if you've been watching my videos, this product is always in them because it is one of my favorite things to use with my children. This is the Hemp's Lotion, my friends. And this right here, again, I repeat it in every empties, basically keeps eczema away from my boys, so I adore this lotion. I have the original scent. This one right here smells like banana. I have the sensitive skin scent. This one right here smells like cinnamon. And I also have the white peach rose and peony lotion. This right here is probably going to be the only one of the three that I won't repurchase simply because I don't appreciate the scent. I found a lotion that has a better scent than this one right here. It's also by the same brand, but the scent is just so good. So this right here won't be a repurchase. These two my boys' favorites. This shampoo right here has been repurchased by me about three times. It is a Matrix anti-dandruff shampoo and my family and I really appreciate this right here whenever I have dandruff. This is the first thing that I gravitate towards and it clears up the problem right away. It is one of my favorite shampoos for that reason. This right here, as soon as I just run out of it, I repurchase just in case me or one of my family members gets that dandruff. You don't want any white spots on your hair, girl. And this right here, it's got you. As you can probably guess, I love trying new soaps, specifically if they are natural or organic. We did order a box with three soaps, one with nature, that's the brand, and this one right here did come with the Dead Sea Mud Soap, the Dead Sea Salt Soap, and the Activated Charcoal Soap. Out of the three different scents, my least favorite one was the salt one. I felt like it dried your skin a tad bit, but the favorite one was the Dead Sea Mud Soap. Clearly, the Dead Sea Mud Soap just took over the other three because we ordered a box just based on that soap. The thing that intrigued us about this soap is that it was beautifully brown and it had little beads across it. As you would shower, it would exfoliate you a tiny little bit. Not a lot where it made a big difference on the exfoliating portion, but it would kind of massage you very slightly. For that reason, the mud one was definitely the favorite. This one had three right here, this one had three, and as you can see, empty. And very quickly, right here is the packaging of the two soaps that I, I saved. You know, before my husband got rid of them, I was like, hey, I need that for the empties. So this is how the packaging for the bar soap looks like. Here I have the Dead Sea Mud and the Activated Charcoal one. So just so that you can see the packaging just in case you see them at your stores. Of course, if you are going to give that a try, I definitely recommend the Dead Sea Mud out of the three. So this right here intrigued us because of course it is non-GMO, vegan certified soap and it is Crate 61 Nourish with Nature. Now, this box right here came with six. We ordered it from Amazon, my husband did. And as you can see, I saved most of the little packages. It does have the scents lemongrass, lavender, coconut, your usual scents, but they are very true to real lemongrass, to real coconut. I don't feel like they did anything super for my skin or my body. To be honest, the scents here are very basic in my taste, but they cleaned, they did the job. I asked my husband to reorder another box and that's when he went for the One Nature C uh, soaps that I just spoke to you about because obviously this went up in price and I just didn't find it worth it to pay the full amount for the box. 
it's all good when you get it on sale but if I'm going to pay more than a certain amount of money on a product then I just better adore it and love it this right here was alright it was okay so right here I have the Shea Moisture Rose Oil Complex Treatment and this is my favorite hair mask the scent is delicious. This is the type of scent that I just love, adore, the scent that I would pay for. It's like a garden full of roses, truly. I'm just smelling the packaging and it just gives off that wonderful scent. I love repurchasing the shampoo by this brand, the same scent. The soap is wonderful as well, but I rarely find it at stores. so. Definitely recommend this. It has my stamp of approval, my seal of approval. It will leave your hair smelling delicious. This is by far one of my favorite hair scents. Here is a Dr. Broner's soap. And this right here is consistently a repurchase because they're not that expensive. They are organic, natural, yummy soap. So I can definitely trust this around my kids. Not like it leaves me a wonderful scent lingering forever like some of the Shea Moisture soaps do, but it's good enough. So this right here is again one of my consistent repurchases simply because it's organic. This right here was a Lush bath bomb. My kids love them, adore them, so I just can't keep my hands off of them. It was probably the intergalactic scent if I'm not mistaken, but these bath bombs give a beautiful show. My kids get entertained. They adore it. It gets 20 million smiles out of them. So put 20 million of these in my cart. So the foam bar rainbow by Lush. It's also a repurchase again and again. And usually again because this doesn't only tint the water rainbow colors it also makes the water smell really good this can be used as a soap it can be used as play-doh by your kids it can just be swirled around in the water to live beautiful colors and to create bubbles my kids really like them i'm not gonna lie a lot of the time my husband and i will take a piece we'll shower the kids with it and we'll save the last bit of it for ourselves because as a soap this functions wonderfully even the scents are really really good and they do linger on your body so a plus for this I've told all of you that as of lately my skin's acting a little insane and I've been masking a little more since I had kind of stopped taking care of my skin for a period of time my work was getting a little hectic a little stressful Things at home, my kids were getting sick, 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 so I had a little bit of a hard time, but I'm back to taking care of this skin. And I did start by using masks skincare a ton. You'll see that I finished several. Uh, this right here is a BioBell Dream Skin Mask. It is by far one of my favorite masks that I've tried simply because it stays on your face, things don't goop out, and it's a multitasking mask. It's really good. It has very complex matcha green tea and apple fruit acid. So all in all, wonderful mask. Very sadly, I am going to get rid of my Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. And this right here still has a tiny little bit left. But I don't appreciate the scent anymore and I've had it for a while, so I'm pretty sure it's going bad. It's, it's expired, so I definitely don't want it on my face. It was really good while it lasted. If you have dry skin, this is something you would probably enjoy. Personally, I prefer the marula oil, but it is on taste. If you like something more heavy and moisturizing, then the argan oil is going to do you well, girl. If you have super dry skin, just put a couple of drops on your face, on your fingers, slather it all over and fear no more. You'll be moisturized for a period of time, of course, but all in all, again, it's a good oil. Not my favorite, but a good one. To be honest, in my perspective, what they are selling you with this bottle is basically the brand because you can get argan oil, 
pure organic argan oil it's as good as this one for half of the price probably even less than half of the price and I know because I've purchased other argan oils by other brands and of course this is the one that I would try to use more because it was more expensive but the other argan oils did me the exact same service so this won't be a repurchase again not my favorite type of oil and it's pretty pricey so to me Josie it's 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 not it's not worth the price tag to me I really love skincare but this particular one again not my favorite oil I just spoke about my favorite oil and I did purchase a while back the night bright drunk elephant set I already finished the TLC Frambu serum that was like an immediate done but I still had a little bit a little bit of the marula oil that drunk elephant does sell this is a small size of course but I loved this right here this again I have purchased other marula oils from other brands but this one right here did grow on me more than the others it is of course good for my skin it was very moisturizing it didn't feel super sticky or heavy like some oils do it would sink beautifully into my skin and again this never failed me whenever I would wear something and then my face would feel deadly dry this right here was my go-to over every oil that I had it's done it's finished but I have another little one I'm not gonna lie here I have the Andalou Argan Stem Cell Recovery Cream. And this right here was one of my night creams. I really enjoyed this cream right here. It was really good while it lasted, but it is more on the light side. As of recently, I've been dealing with drier skin. So this right here is possibly not going to be a repurchase for me, simply because it's a lighter moisturizer. But if you do have oily skin, this is something that you might want to look into. My husband's favorite skincare product based on his feedback, I figured is the Tatcha the Water Cream. And this is a cream that I was considering not to repurchase anymore, simply because of its price tag and because as I told you, I've been dealing with drier skin. But as of recently, I don't know. I, I've been missing it because my husband misses it. So. This is again clearly his favorite moisturizer. I understand why. It is lightweight, it gives you enough moisture for the day. It's a really good cream, so this is possibly going to be a repurchase. Maybe I should give it to my husband for Father's Day. I don't know, we'll see. One of my favorite creams at the moment is by Drunk Elephant, and it is the Proteiny Polyptidite Cream. This is a very popular skincare item and I can definitely understand why. It's not too oily, it is not too heavy on the skin, but it does provide a good amount of moisture. Not like the purple one, and I know because recently I purchased the purple one, but it provides enough, enough to last me throughout the day, enough for me not to complain one bit, and they do say that this helps with aging and it helps your skin produce more of the good stuff. So you can keep it young as much as possible. And ultimately, come on, that's what we girls want, right? We want to we wanna keep ourselves as nice as we can for as long as we can. We only have one body, one face, so let's do it together. Let's move on to speak about primers because I, I did go through two, through two throughout this time where you and I haven't been talking empties. And one of the ones that I finished is the NYX Angel Vell Skin Perfecting Primer. And this won't be a repurchase simply because I've found primers that are more moisturizing and soothing for my skin. It does give you a nice base to work with. I don't think it does anything extraordinary for me. I don't know, I felt like it used to make my makeup last longer, but as my skin has been getting drier, primers that don't offer moisture have just become a pain to me. So this won't be a repurchase, but it was good while it lasted. It was an okay primer. In my perspective, not okay for the price, too much for the price. This is about $15. 
It doesn't do anything that's worth $15 on my skin. Personal opinion. Now this item is a little more pricey and I'm not gonna lie, there's still a tad bit left but it expired on me and I already have a little size of it because I adore this primer that much. This is the Hourglass Veil Primer. This primer is actually one of my favorites. I've spoken about it several times. I appreciate this primer. This made me fall in love with primers. This right here makes your makeup last longer. It gives you a smooth base. It does everything for you. It works well with dry skin. It works well with oily skin. Perfect for oily skin. At least I felt like that when my skin was more oily. I wish I had oily skin again. Well, this right here makes your makeup just look rocky and it makes it last well. And again, it is pricey, but this definitely worth the price. The first primer that made me fall in love with primers. The first primer that made me see that primers could do something for your skin. So all in all, this right here, great, great product. Specifically, I feel if you have oily skin, for when we do have oily skin, I have an oily T-zone, makeup slips a little and you want it to stay for as long as ever, especially if you do have a work day and most ladies nowadays do, so recommend. Because I do look for more natural products, some of you are going to cringe when I share this with you. It's a deodorant, but it does have an ingredient that a lot of you won't agree with. This is the Ban regular deodorant, and this thing just doesn't fail me. I'm the type of person who just likes to smell good. I don't appreciate smells on myself that are not flowery or just sweet girly scent. This right here keeps my armpits dry, you know, doesn't, there, there's no sweat under there when I apply this. Sometimes if I apply this and let's say I forget to shower and I wake up the next morning, I don't wake up stinking. I, I just really, really enjoy this deodorant. It is my favorite. I know that it has that one little ingredient that oh, makes us cringe, but, but, it works for me and I really, really like it. And until I find a natural alternative that does what this does for me, I don't know that I can let it go. So yeah, this is my one non-organic product. Not, not just the one, but one of the non-organic products. Let's move on to the topic of makeup. And let me share with you one of my favorite setting powders at the moment, especially for the under eyes and for my T-zone. It is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, and clearly, I loved this thing right here. It is empty, it is broken, it is used, and I am wearing it underneath my eyes today. I feel like it brightens enough, and it sets really, really nicely. I don't feel like it over dries me. It's a very nice product, and it is $4 at your Ulta, so this I definitely recommend. Again, it gives you a beautiful glow where you apply it and it keeps itself pretty much invisible, translucent. It just gives you that boost of a glow, that boost of a highlight. The Fit Me Maybelline Matte and Poreless Powder was definitely a winner in my perspective as well. I did go through it. I wouldn't mind repurchasing this again, but at the moment I have a lot of powders that I am currently trying or trying to finish, so this won't be a repurchase for now. It could be in the near future. This, I can't live without at the moment. This, I can deal without it at the moment. Not this. This, yeah, I have other powders. So as you know, getting through a lipstick is definitely an accomplishment. And I'm trying to swatch it for you, but you're gonna see a very light swatch since it hardly has any. This was the L'Oreal Color Richie 176 Sunset Angora lipstick. And it was a sheer lipstick. It was more moisturizing than anything. It had a very pretty peachy color. I used to just apply it. I would take this to work with me. I finished it already. If I needed just a retouch, a light lip flush, I would just grab this because it's moisturizing and you know that my lips are 
the Sahara Desert. This probably won't be repurchased due to the fact that I've found other glosses and moisturizing lip products that I like more than this one, but it was good while it lasted, and the color was a very, very nice touch. This right here is one of my brow stylist definers. Again, another empty. If you're consistent, then you know how much I adore this product. Just like the lotion, you'll usually hear me talk about this at least once in every empties video. This is my favorite brow pencil. I have backups and backups of this because you don't want to go to work one day with one eyebrow done and the other one just halfway started, right? So I have about three backups of this. I'm about to run out of another one, but I have a backup. I'm backed up with this product. So here I have the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. And this, I remember liking this time around. I hated the mascara. Recently, they did change the packaging. Maybe they changed the formula. The thing with this is that it has a very tricky wand. Very tricky. Not conventional whatsoever. It's kind of like a stick with like little plastic things coming out. And I don't know, I felt like didn't grip my eyelashes good enough. Maybe I didn't know how to use the wand good enough. But I must have known because I've had it once before and I liked it. I liked it to a point where I repurchased it. But after the package changed, I don't know. I'm not repurchasing this again. It's gone forever. It's gonna it's gonna rest. It's not it's not returning to my vanity. That this is officially dumped. Here I have two LA Girl Pro Concealers. And these right here were really good while it lasted. Not my favorite concealer, to be honest with you, but not one of the worst ones I've tried. It did a good job. This one was a brightening one. This one was one that was closer to my skin tone. Sometimes I would mix both. It is not the most full coverage concealer, but it does make your under eyes look nice, average, okay. Again, not one of my favorites, but it does work well. It functions as a concealer. Here I have the Andalou Naturals Deep Wrinkle Derma Filler. And this was supposed to be a little lotion. I would show you a snippet of it, but it has none anymore. Uh, this was supposed to be a cream that goes on your under eyes or on any portion of your face where you have lines, where your makeup creases. This is supposed to be a derma filler, kind of like a filler for your wrinkles. Does it work? Eh. Is it gonna be a repurchase? Eh. You get, you get it. Does it work? I mean, I don't feel like it filled my wrinkles or my lines where I have them, but keep on claiming that, brother. You, you're not gonna be repurchased. Last but not least, I am going to share with you my last empty, and it is the Sugar Bear Hair Hair Vitamins bottle. If you saw my video on the other empties, I had one of these. I am thinking about repurchasing it, but I'm doubting it. I feel like it does affect my hair growth, but I don't think my hair looks fuller. I don't think I'm growing just a ton of hair. And again, maybe I'm expecting the product to perform miracles and it, and it shouldn't, but I was doing a little bit of research. I was comparing this vitamin to the Halo vitamins that Tati has and... No comment. I mean, I, I don't know if I want to repurchase this after the research that I did. It was a tiny bit of research, but all in all, it narrows down to that vitamin having better ingredients than this one. Now, price-wise, this is not so bad. It does retail for $30. If you have a 20% coupon at Ulta, sometimes you'll get it for about $25, $26. The Tati product is about 40 bucks. No discount. So, weigh your options. I'm trying to do that. Again, I feel like it does help my hair grow faster, but I don't think it does anything other than that. 
And when I say faster, it's not like a significant difference. Like, oh my gosh, my hair's so long already. I've been trying to grow it. But it does grow a little faster than it would normally grow. That's what I've noticed. Again, I might not repurchase this simply because I might dive into exploring other vitamins. We've come to the end of this video. Hopefully you found it helpful or at least a little bit interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't. Please do hit that bell button for notifications. Leave your comments and requests down below and I'll see you around next time. Have a very lovely day or a very beautiful night. Goodbye.